Rupert? <laughs> Rupert! Sorry. I'm looking forward to reading your notes from today's class. I'm assuming it'll be comprehensive. He was gay dreaming again. <laughs> Cedric, your preoccupation with your classmate's sexuality is becoming alarmingly obsessive. <laughs> Meanwhile, you must include three enumerations and four other figures of speech from the list I provided you last Tuesday. And may I... Everybody, everybody, I'd like to remind you that next week your presentations are due on Monday. And don't forget, the object you bring in must have emotional significance to you in real life. Don't tell me about your weekend at Hogwarts. School had always been a refuge as a kid. But I got older and was introduced to the meanness of guys. Well, boys. To survive the jungle, you had to become an animal. But for me, it was easier to just sink into my own head. And TV. Mm, another occidental tale of survival from bullying. Bingo. Well, no, but for years, all I cared about was John and that TV show in which he starred and, and around which my whole world revolved back then. <laughs> Have you ever confided this obsession in anyone else before? Well, what sort of interlocutor are we talking about here? Well, I don't know. Professional. I haven't seen... What's the name of the show? Anyway, just carry on. What's your name again? Sorry? I, uh, I can't remember your name. Audrey? Audrey Newhouse. Yes, yes. Uh, that's... She's not a common name, Audrey. <clears throat> you seem to think I'm here to talk about some icon or uh, extremely honorable body of work or to promote some, some cultural happening. But I came here thinking we'd talk about influence and identity and, you know, TV. So if you're looking for contrived notions and dumb quotes on the biz to mock me, you'll be disappointed. This isn't about business. Okay, this, this is not about art. This, this is... This is about a man saving a child's life. So, I don't care that John was untalented. I don't care that what he did was ridiculous or that what he did was shit. I don't care that his story in this time and age sounds abysmal to you. I know I'm not rebuilding Aleppo, okay? I think we're on the same boat. <laughs> and that coffee's decaf, Audrey. <clears throat> Okay, moving on. Honey, I couldn't watch you suffer anymore. <laughs> I had to understand. <laughs> Mom, I'm 17. <laughs> or 30. Just tell me none of it. None of it. Rupert. We're in this room. Yeah, I don't want to miss any more lights. Shoes, shoes on the carpet. Okay, the mother knows she saw him using his hidden power. She taped him. You could say hi. What? Hi. This is White Nose? Of course, the hidden cameras in the season finale. <sighs> oh, oh my god! Did you see what he just did? He used his powers in front of her! Look, look! Look at the keys! Look at the keys! The CGI is amazing! Look Rupert, at that! You have a package. I think it's a poster. I left it on your bed. Okay. Honey, what are you? Just like you said, Mom. I'm different. The opening credits are coming. They're here. Oh my God! That's a new power. That is a new power. Oh my God! This is amazing. This is freaking amazing. Looper. Voice. Oh my God. Neighbors. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Holy cow! Shh. I'm so happy right now. Mom, are you even paying attention? Come on, this is the house of mine. My father had left when I was two, and since then it had always been my mom and me. Leaving America, it had sort of precipitated an unabashed coming of age. My mom and I, we were barely speaking anymore. 
Now that we had moved, I was basically spending all of my time in my room. My kids at school were mocking me for either being the new guy or the child actor. And yes. In my own perspective, all my dreams had disappeared. The only one that had survived was yeah. John. trying to cast an American kid living here or other very specific roles and I won't pretend it's made the move easier for him but mm, he'll, he'll find his place mm. I'd left a lot behind moving to England but the letters had followed the same night I saw that pilot of the show he starred in I wrote John a letter and to my great surprise, he... He answered. Yeah. And what started as a one-off carried on for years. Until his death, actually. Hold on a minute. And your mother had no idea. How could that escape her notice? I mean, she never saw any of those letters in the mail. I think a great deal of things went unnoticed by my mom back at the time. I mean, she was, she was overwhelmed. She was never home and, well, I was in charge of the mail anyway. <laughs> so you intercepted them? I did. Why? Weren't you proud? I was, but, but more than proud, I was scared. Scared that this, this very special thing, that it'd be taken away from me. It was the only connection I had with the life I dreamed of. So I protected it. Until I thought the day I'd leave that place, become an actor. Work with John. I knew there was a whole world out there. And that in it, 